Dark, and we have our next guest, who is the lady who features on this single, Sex Symbol, that is actually charting in Queensland already, yes, which is good to see. Is. Flame Fortune. First time we've met. Nice to meet you. Hi. <laughs> you, uh, well, if I just go to the single here, and John asked me to do this, and John's off out of camera range <laughs> at the moment, but it says, Who the hell is Flame? I am an erotic virgin taking my sexual frustrations out on the world. Yeah. Did you, is, are they... Yeah. Well, you I, I, I can help you here. You ought to get de virginized Get de virginized and then you won't have to take it out on anybody. Well, that doesn't that doesn't isn't really what it means. It just means that um, I'm careful. I'm I don't give it away. You know, I'm still a virgin at Are you heart. Charged? <laughs> You're from Los Angeles. That's a new concept. In sexual relations. Yes. Charging from, for it. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <All right. laughs> She's from LA, right? Our flame mm -hmm. fortune. And you've been in Australia how long? Two months. What brought you to Australia? Um, <laughs> no, I came to, um, to Australia to do a record. Purely to do the record? Yeah. It was produced by Hutchins mm -hmm. and a couple of other well-known people around this country. Yes. There's one that I don't know, though, a fella called Fabian Sparkle. Who's oh, Fabian Sparkle? Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, well, <laughs> he's the, your, your typical... You know, your typical, your typical rock star. Oh. Sleaze. <laughs> How did you get to meet Michael Hutchins and the boys from Inexcess? Um, well, actually, I had done my first demo, uh -huh. and um, out of the blue, I sent a letter to their manager, Chris Murphy, mm. and said, looking for some advice. <laughs> You're 22 years of age, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Excuse me for mentioning it. Yeah. So at 22, you were doing your first demo. What had you done prior to that? Um, I did. I edited a rock and roll magazine in Los Angeles. In yeah, and then I did a cable show, which was very. We had a camera in our living room, and it was really laid back. And anybody who was in town, like any musicians, or whatever, would come over to our okay. house, and uh -huh. we just sort of do things. <laughs> what, what channel was that on? It was on this uh, cable channel three. Yeah. Yeah. And you're getting, you're not getting Jed, bored, are Jed, you? have you ever Come th on. thought of adding girls on the road <laughs> to the band? No, for vocals, backup vocals? No, we've never thought of that, uh, Donny. It's not an idea that's hitting home at the moment? It's not actually right, uh, okay. hitting the part. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you write a lot, I've, I've read. Uh, <laughs> hello, Flame. Yeah. How, many, how many songs would you have penned? <laughs> Will you stop playing That's his hanky, Oh, uh, well, okay. Just... That isn't what you might think it is. It's a hanky. That erotic right, right virgin might be gone. These virgins How are many just songs uncontrollable, aren't they? Oh, God. <clears throat> Their imagination. 60. 60 songs? Yeah. And these 70. are the first two? No, these are the... Oh, first two to be recorded. These are the first ones to be written, recorded. So what are your plans now? Are you going to stay in Australia, keep recording, and, and work live, or are you going back home? Well, it's up to God, because God is my leader, and he tells yeah. me where to go. That's another thing I've heard. You're a very <laughs> God tell you where to go. Yeah. Are you going to do any good live gigs here? Um, mm, I don't know. Depends on my fate. Hasn't told you yet? It hasn't told me yet. Mm -mm. Just flowing, going with the flow. So you're a re religious person, right? The Rocking Love Gods are the band. Mm -hmm. The single sex symbol. I mean, what sort of religion live? is that? I mean, Wait, okay, wait a minute. Am I religious or do I play live? <laughs> what sort of religion is it that would lead you to release all um, this, this sexual injury? I, I believe in God and I believe in Jesus. God is life to me. It's all of it. Yeah. Living and breathing. And Jesus is the door. And when I want something, when I need something, I just go to the door. <laughs> you know? And um, that's why I'm here. I mean, I'm I'm not here. I'm here because I prayed to be here, not because of some fairy tale, you know. It's your turn. <laughs> your turn, Mark. Your question. Well, all I've got to say to that is Jesus God. Christ. Oh, I know. Fitty, <laughs> you wanted to know whether Flame he works is. live. Do you work live? No. Well, I'm open to everything. I could work live. It's a good question. And good answer. <laughs> Sex symbol from Flame. And then we'll have Devo, which has got nothing to do with sex symbol or flame. <laughs> Let's go with no <laughs> with flame fortune. <laughs> That's not a demonstration of power. 
I love you, darling, yes. I oh, you. sure. <laughs> Is that why you're wearing black? Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to go. Uh, John, who's well out the back, but he's still with us. Thank you for coming in, mate. Thanks. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Flame. Thank Would you. Would love to know the real name, but she's not telling. Jet, thank you. You, all the best, and good luck on this travel around Cheers. Australia. It's Cheers. only a briefie, but it's a goodie. Tonight in Newcastle, and on Monday night, Selena's. You should go. Hunters and collectors there also. Monday night, Selena's. Right, okay. Selena's. Yeah, it's it's, no, it's looking all right. Yeah. Hunters and collectors take a walk on the wild side. Takes us out on this Saturday night. Thank you for being with us. Bye bye.